Hey, today's pest of the day. You're getting a two for one today. So these beetles, you see it right here? These beetles have been wreaking havoc on my tomatoes. At first I didn't realize that they were harmful, but then I realized, when I go Googled it, um, they're actually sucking the life out of my tomato plant. Kill them. Kill them. I'm not sure if they're edible to, to the chickens, so I won't feed them to the chickens. But when you see those, kill them. And then the two for one are these ants. Um, I think they call leaf footed ants. Not sure what they're called. It's my first time seeing them. I just Google it. I think it said leaf footed ants. But you see all those red ants? And based on what I'm seeing, you need to kill those also. So these, I noticed that my tomato plants, even though they're like covered with tomatoes, um, they have been getting thinner and thinner because I keep trimming them back because I see the leaves very droopy. Um, and like this one here has like no leaves um, right now, but that's really, oh my gosh, more, more stuff. That's really because of the tomato hornworm. The tomato hornworm, that, that leaf of the, my last pest of the day, killed everything. Look at this. Ugh. Oh, that one got away. Yeah, but you can see that's hornworm damage. It ate all the bottoms of my tomatoes off. That was hornworm damage. But guys, it's end of spring, beginning of summer, and these, these bugs, are in oh my gosh look look there guys there are two beetles right there they almost blended in so we call these um these are stink bugs or in Jamaica they call them what did they call them in doc in Jamaica um can't remember the name they call it in Jamaica but you can see those two bugs like beetles on top hold on let me try and zoom in let me go around You see them those two right there so I'm gonna kill uh, chop I'm literally chopping them in two oh my gosh I just chopped off my tomatoes but um I don't want to get those I don't want to touch them with my hands so I just chopped cut them both in two yeah so guys it's a battle it's daily it's a daily battle against these bugs you know, well, it's okay that this, this, these came off because these were all eaten up. Um, if you don't stay on top of it, I went on vacation for just a few days. You know, if you don't stay on top of it, they're going to stay on top of it for you. So my tomatoes are getting thinner and thinner. Um, but I have eaten quite a, a bit, but still, I, it's, it's not even the beginning of summer yet. So I want to continue eating. So. If you want to continue eating, you got to go through and do your trimming, do your pruning, look at everything every day. Look for those nasty um, tomato hornworms. Look for these beetles. There's another one. Look for those beetles. And don't do like what I'm doing. You use your fingers, you or you not your fingers. Don't use your fingers. I wouldn't use my fingers on those thing bugs. Use um like gloved hands, and just you know get rid of them. I got a little bit too scissor happy, so I just chopped off a bunch of tomatoes. Um, I'm gonna go and if if you have BT, you can you can spray BT on here. I actually ordered BT online yesterday. It's supposed to come today. But for now, I'm going to sprinkle some Damitaceous Earth. I'm hoping that will work on it, on those bugs. I'm not sure because I've never um, had to deal with those bugs before. But I'm tired of losing my tomatoes. Um, I'm tired of losing my tomato plant. I'm getting tomatoes, but these, these bugs are like horrible. These bugs are just horrible. They're like, I know they need to eat too, but they can eat grass or weeds or something else. Not my tomatoes. So... I'm gonna sprinkle some damnitaceous earth. And by the way, I have been using this tomato and vegetable, which is supposed to be organic, and it lists a whole bunch of insects that it's and and, and pests that it's supposed to control. I don't know if I've seen any difference. 
um, because as you can see I've sprayed this and you know this this is still covered but I'm gonna give it a spritz with this not sure if it makes a difference I'm gonna make, give it a spritz I do see them dropping off though and then I'm gonna sprinkle it with my diametaceous earth it's also by escaping yeah I don't know if this is making a difference it's probably perfume just perfume for them but let's sprinkle some diametaceous earth diametaceous earth works by um, like basically drying out their bodies so let's see if it works on these I'm just gonna sprinkle this so I'm hoping it works on those bugs um, when I get my my BT I'm gonna go ahead and um, spray when it comes in today all right guys so that's it this was supposed to be a quick video just to tell you about the pests of the day and for, to, for you to see how I'm treating them. Alright, till next time guys. Bye now.